In our lab today, I'm going to perform a bunch of different types of chemical reactions. Your job is to take very good observations and then determine which type of reaction I'm performing. We will start off with a piece of copper wire. So if you notice here, I've cut myself uh, a couple inches of a copper wire. So go ahead and take some observations of this copper, pure copper wire that I got from the spool. Next, I'm gonna light my Bunsen burner. I'm gonna take my copper wire and I'm going to put it inside the flame of the Bunsen burner. So using crucible tongs, I'm gonna pick up that shiny copper wire. I'm gonna go ahead and place it inside the flame. And now, you can start to see immediately that there are some changes happening to this copper wire. So I'll heat it up for about a couple minutes here. All right, so let's take a look at what we have. Let's turn off our gas. And let's look and see our observations. So make some observations what happened to, we'll get it to stop moving. There we go. So if you remember, it used to look like this. And now this is our copper wire. For our next reaction, I'm gonna be using a compound called copper two carbonate. Give you a second to look there. Okay. There's a scupula of copper two carbonate. Go ahead and make some observations. I'm gonna take a scupula of this compound and I'm gonna go ahead and put it inside my test tube. You can see that I have a couple scoops of that compound sitting there in the bottom of the test tube. So now I'm going to grab a piece of equipment called a test tube holder. I'm going to clamp that test tube into the holder and I'm going to bring it over to my fire. So here's my Bunsen burner and I'm going to heat it up in the hottest part of the flame which is this inner center cone and notice I'm going to point it away from anybody who is near me and wait to heat it up and make some observations. You can already see there at the bottom, we're starting to see some change. kind of show you also a little bit further up the test tube if you can make some observations of what happened up there as well. So I'll pull it off the flame, kind of start at the top of the test tube, and then go down. So now I'm going to redo the exact same reaction we just saw a second ago. So if you notice inside my test tube, I still have the exact same green compound, same amount, and I'm just reheating it again in the Bunsen burner and you can see the exact same observations are happening. Let's zoom in there so you can see. Okay, and we'll continue heating it up. And in a minute here, I'm gonna do something called a wooden splint test. And a wooden splint test is used to check for the identity of the gas that's being produced. So one of our products here is a gas. So our compound is going through a chemical change Atoms are rearranging and forming into new things, and those new things have new identities. So this is the wooden splint that you use to check for the presence of a gas. It looks just like a coffee stirrer. Actually, it is a coffee stirrer. So it's just a piece of wood. I'm gonna take the wood, light it on fire. So notice it's on fire. And I'm gonna take that flame and I'm gonna insert it inside the test tube where the gas is present. And if you notice, the flame extinguished. So the presence of a gas 
can either make the flame extinguish, ignite even more, or make a popping sound. And in our reaction, our flame extinguished, so that means a certain gas is present. In order for you to determine which gas was created, please reference your lab.